The first time I ever traveled to Melbourne, I met this girl who knew I was a tourist, and she said to me, "Hey, after work tonight, why don't I pick you up and we go have some dinner and show you some cool spots around town?" I was more than ecstatic to accept her offer, and I was so happy that she even offered to pick me up. Australia drives on the opposite side of the road that I normally am comfortable to drive on, so I didn't have a rental car or anything. So I depended mostly on public transportation. So later that evening, she shows up and picks me up, and we went to you know have a nice dinner and everything. And at some point, close to midnight, she said to me, "Hey, why don't we go to the beach right now?" I was like, it's kind of late to be going to the beach, and she said, no, no, no. There's a really cool thing that is at the beach, and so she took me to this place called Saint Kilda, and what turns out to be really cool is there's a colony of warm water penguins that during the day they go travel off and swim off to like an island or something. I was told, and at evening they will come back and roost on the. The mainland among the rocks on shore, and so you have all these tiny little penguins. And they're tiny; they're like under a foot in height, that are kind of hiding in the between the rocks and the cracks and everything. And as you approach the rocks, and this is before now when they allow you to like actually climb onto the rocks, they would pop their head out and be like, "Hey, giant." Why are you attacking my nest? You're invading my home. And they would try to defend it. They would try to make themselves look big, spread little wings and everything, and squawk at you. And honestly, there's it. It turned out to be the cutest thing I ever seen. Well, if you like my stories, please like and subscribe, and come back next week. Have safe travels.